the Huawei P60 and Huawei P60 Pro are two new smartphones that Huawei just unveiled in China. The Huawei P60, the P60 Pro, and the P60R are three new smartphones in Huawei's P60 lineup that have been introduced since the P50 line of smartphones was discontinued. Although we haven't heard anything about a UK release yet, these phones were formally introduced in China, so we want to review how they compare. The Huawei P60 and Huawei P60 Pro have already been compared, but we now want to see how they stack up against other brands. Continue watching to learn more about how the popular Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the premium P60 smartphone differ from one another. It's significant to note that there is currently no confirmation of the P60 Pro's global release. Although the pricing for the UK and the US is still unknown, we do know how much they will cost in China. With a starting price of 6,988 yuan, the P60 Pro is estimated to cost around £826 or $1,014 in other markets. At a starting price of $1,119, Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra is available for purchase in both the UK and the United States. Although we can't be certain until we have more information about the P60 Pro's release, based on the pricing in China, it appears that it will be the less expensive option. The Huawei P60 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra have an aluminum unit body frame and Gorilla Glass on the front and back. Also, both of them received IP68 trading in Gorilla Glass Victus 2. The Huawei P60 Pro has a 6.67-inch LTPO OLED display, with a peak brightness of 1300 nits, while the Galaxy S23 Ultra 6.8-inch Dynamic AMOLED display has the edge with its 1750 nits peak brightness. Galaxy S23 Ultra has 5000 mAh battery, and P60 Pro has 4815 mAh. But the Huawei comes with a charger in the box and charges much faster with its 88 watts fast charging. On the other hand, the Galaxy S23 Ultra supports 45 watts fast charging, but it also comes with wireless charging support. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU and comes with 256 512 gigs or 1 terabyte of UFS 4.0 storage in addition to 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. On the other hand, the P60 Pro has a smaller storage capacity and comes in either an 8 and 256 gigs or a 12 and 512 gigs configuration. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 4G mobile platform, which features an octa-core processor and an Adreno GPU, is what it is equipped with. A large 200 megapixels primary camera is included with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The camera arrangement on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is amazing. It includes a 200 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and two 10 megapixel telephoto lenses with 3x and 10 fold optical zooms. In our opinion, the 200 megapixels camera delivered excellent results in both bright and dim lighting, bringing in a ton of detail and light in every situation. The P60 Pro chose to use a 48 megapixels main camera, a 48 megapixels ultra lighting telephoto sensor, and a 13 megapixels ultra wide sensor. The business claims that their ultra lighting sensors can capture full path light with exquisite clarity and focus in almost all settings, therefore this should provide full path light capturing capabilities. Samsung and Huawei have promised 4 years of Android updates, and 5 years of security updates, so buyers should be able to hold on to their new phones for longer. Neither device will have any issues with daily tasks like multitasking, high-resolution video recording, and intensive gaming or video editing. The Huawei P60 Pro is a better choice for purchases on a tight budget. But for anyone with an extra $100 to spend, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has much more to offer, with better performance in cameras, more protection, and useful extras like wireless charging and the S Pen. What do you think about these phones, which phone is better, write your opinion in the comments, have a nice day, and luck is definitely on your side.